Alex Cooney. Alex Cooney is the former senior constable best known for inspiring the movement Cops for COVID Truth. In a letter to the New South Wales Police Commissioner in October 2020, he questioned the unlawful and unjustifiable enforcement of COVID restrictions. Wow. Um, look at this hope. Just wow. Um, I'm not much of a public speaker, so I wrote a few things down. But wow, guys, thank you. Oh. Um, <laughs> firstly, I'd like to thank the traditional owners of this land for giving us our, their blessing today. Their people have been through so much since white man stepped foot on this land and they're here today to give us their blessing. So what we stand for here today, we stand for them as well and the protection of their culture. Okay. Uh, I'd like to thank the men and women of the police force on duty here today. They're They've come to maintain a safe space for us to stand up peacefully for our freedoms, to allow us to exercise our basic rights of assembly and free speech. I'd like to acknowledge the police as part of our community and what we stand for here today, we're standing for them as well. I have some immediate support who have my back. Um, my partner, Anna Lee, my son Ryan, my mum Sue, my stepsister Maya who are here today, but other families and friends who have come to visit um, and support us here and support me. Um, massive thank you to you guys. Uh, I served for 12 years at the New South Wales Police. If it's not for COVID, I'd still be serving today. I joined the police with the intention to do it until I retired. I'm nothing special. I could hardly read when I left school. I worked my ass off to get into the force and through the university. In being here today, I've given up all that and the income for my family. I'm a critical thinker by nature and aware a lot of information we're fed is to have us think a certain way. So when COVID hit, I saw red flags right away. I began seeking the truth behind it. What I found were thousands of doctors and scientists putting forward facts that what we've been led to believe through our politicians, mainstream media and sources of authority was false. Numbers were manipulated. The PCR test is not adequate to test for the alleged virus. The virus itself has not been isolated. Influenza strangely disappeared. Yeah. These and other facts were being ignored and censored. When it came to the enforcement of COVID laws upon our community, I found in fact they're not laws at all. At best, they're probably rules. Therefore, what police were enforcing upon their communities was disproportionate, unjustified and unlawful. Yeah. With these discoveries, I could see a bigger picture unfolding. I could see police were being used as a tool for political and corporate agendas. We were removing the basic freedoms and rights of the good people of our communities for a greater agenda. Not one of health, but of control. In 2020, 
With the help of Advocate Me, I send an open letter to the New South Wales Police Commissioner. Outline many of the facts behind COVID and many of the laws of which police were breaching. I knew that was a huge risk to my career. Um, police are not to speak publicly. However, sensing where we were headed and doing nothing, I was not able to live with myself. That letter was sent and immediately went all around the world. Cops for COVID Truth was born. What I did was not for myself. It, it was for the communities I swore to protect. <laughs> to the police, you are part of our community. We want you to be part of our community. You are the ones we call upon when wrong or harm is being caused. We do not want you being the ones causing the wrong or harm. In enforcement of the COVID rules has eroded the relationship between the citizens and the police. We're trying to get through to the police who are still serving that the whole mainstream narrative of COVID is a lie. What you're being fed at work is a lie. There is plenty of scientific evidence out there that throws this whole thing on its head. Use your critical thinking like you would for an investigation. Look where you're being distracted from looking. Look at what the mainstream is demonising and st stop taking this on face value. By enforcing COVID rules, you are breaching laws. You are imposing on the basic freedoms and rights of the community. You are going against everything that tells you how to perform your role. Your oath, your statement of values, the facts and the evidence, and the law. If this thing was real, you'd be seeing it. People would not need to be told to stay at home. They'd be taking their own precautions because it would be real. Why are the police commissioners stating this is about compliance and not about health? Why are they pardoning wrongful action taken by police in relation to COVID? If I went and wrote 100 red light tickets when there was no red light, I'd lose my job. I'd be punished. Media would have a field day with it. Police, you are accountable to the law. If we go down the path of royal commissions, which I think we will, and you have been enforcing unlawful rules based on directions from above, you will be held accountable. You're you're answerable to the law. There's no excuse being, I was just following a direction. Now, the good thing is, you don't have to follow those directions. In fact, it's in your best interest not to follow those directions. The system is set up in such a way you can honourably refuse not to enforce any unlawful direction. This is the message we want to get through to the police. It's such a mindset to just follow orders, but you need to question it. Remember what governs you to perform your duties and that you are to report wrongdoing. By questioning orders and directions you're given honourably and respectfully, you'll be operating with great integrity and you'll be doing the right thing. If one constable has the ability to do that in one police station, that action has the potential to change the whole station's approach. If, po if police start doing this across the nation, all of a sudden this fake pandemic is flipped on its head. This will grant you your own freedoms right back.
You will also be giving the people their freedoms right back. This is the way to rebuild bridges with the community. So start speaking up from within the organisation and do the right thing. Now, for police who, who are looking at doing the right thing, there's a Telegram page for Cops for COVID Truth. You can start there. There's relevant information. Now to the community. Please understand that more and more police realise this pandemic is BS. Two weeks to flatten the curb is all the way back there. Police are over it. They're almost getting to the point where calling in sick is becoming a necessity. Police join the force because they want to be there to help you in your time of need. That's what gives them purpose, not being COVID cops. They do not want to be forced upon the community. They do want to be a part of it. Now, in terms of your individual rights, we all know most of you aren't scared of getting an alleged virus. You're scared of copping a fine. Businesses are scared of copping a fine. Now, if you're hoping by doing the right thing this is going away, it's not. It's up to each and every individual to stand up respectfully for their freedoms. No one is coming to save you. No one's coming to save us. Everything we have ever given our power away to is being used against us. Giving, your pa giving our power away and hoping for someone else to fix it is not going to work. Find it in yourself to stand up. This, this is a people's battle. It's not in our nature to disobey society. I'm not saying get violent. I'm saying don't acquiesce. Stand up for your rights. Because when there are enough individuals standing up, this thing's over. Let's support our police to stand up. And police, when you do stand up, you'll have the support of the whole community. We are in this together, not against each other. We are the force when united. And standing united is what those behind these agendas fear most. To all those who are speaking out or speaking up for truth, and to all of you here today, you're a lighthouse. There's a reason why you have the knowledge and can see what's really happening in the world. You have the potential to spy people around you and all over the world. You are so powerful with truth. When you do things honourably with integrity and you're not argumentative, people will crumble with the light of your truth. From the bottom of my heart, it has been such a privilege to see this crowd and be here with you today. This hope is amazing and it's going to carry far and wide. Thank you everyone for turning up today, really. <laughs>